it's Monday and it's a fresh new start. So let's study new expressions and become a better English speaker. Let's start. FYI, 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 I don't like dumplings. FYI, F Y I, F Y I, which means for your information, for 누구를 위한, 뭐뭐를 위한, your 당신의 information 정보, 당신의 정보를 위해서, 즉 참고로라는 말입니다. For your information, I don't like dumplings. 참고로 저는 만두를 안 좋아요. For your information, FYI, the show starts at 7. 참고로 그 쇼는 7시에 시작됩니다. So when you want to give some information to somebody, you can say FYI and the information. One more time, FYI, FYI, remember. Nail, 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 you nailed it. Nail. So what is nail? Nail means um, you've done something, you made something, okay? So for example, let's say you, um, you're handling this very difficult uh, situation and you finally you figured it out what to do and you figure out something really well then in the case you can say oh i nailed it i nailed it okay in korean it means 해내다 nail 해내다 so when you say you nailed it 너가 해냈어 i nailed it 내가 해냈어 he nailed it 그가 해냈어 i will nail it 내가 해낼 거야 he will nail it. 그가 해낼 거야. So remember, nail means 해내다. Nail. The third wheel. The third wheel. The third wheel. I'm the third wheel. The third wheel. The third wheel. In order to explain this expression, I want to explain about numbers first. There are two ways to count number, right? One, two, three, four, five, and so on. And the other way is first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, right? So when you say the third wheel, that means you are not the first or second, but you are the third, which means you are less important than somebody else. In Korean, uh, the third wheel means um, 곁다리 or uh, 틀러리, 떨거지, 깍두기, 제3의 인물, 제3자 So there are so many Korean meanings But remember when you say the third wheel is like less important person So for example, let's say you are going out with your girlfriend or boyfriend And all of a sudden your boyfriend t tells you that uh, he will bring his friend Okay, in that case, the guy will be the third wheel. Okay, remember the third wheel means 곁다리 or 틀러리 혹 uh, 제3자 깍두기 Did I include everybody's ideas? Alright, so remember that the third wheel. Have a bone to pick with. Have a bone to pick with. Have a bone to pick with. I have a bone to pick with you. I have a bone to pick with you. I have a bone to pick with you. It means uh, you have something to talk with somebody else. Mm. Many cases in me, it has negative meaning. So let's say when you say I have a bone to talk, uh, bone to pick with you. It means you want to talk about some disagreement with your friend or with someone. In Korean, 
uh, have a bond to pick with somebody that means 누군가에게 따질 것이 있다. 누군가에게 따질 것이 있다. So when you say I have a bond to pick with you, that means 나는 너한테 따질 것이 있어. You have a bond to pick with me. 너 나한테 따질 거 있지. He has a bond to pick with her. 그는 그녀에게 따질 것이 있다. Do you have a bond to pick with me? 나한테 따질 것이 있습니까? So remember, have a bond to pick with someone. Have a bond to pick with someone. Back off! Back off! Back off! Back off! Stop bothering me! Back off! Okay. Back off means do not bother or stop bothering or literally please step backward. Okay. In Korean, uh, 물러서, um, 빠져 있어, uh, 저리 가. Okay, so for example, let's just say you are, um, you saw somebody is fighting, okay, and you try to go there and take a look, and your friend said, Hey, honey, back off. Right? It's none of your business, so don't care about it. Back off. Or let's say there is fire, big fire. And when somebody tries to get close to it, I can say, Hey, back off, it's dangerous. Oh, 물러나 있으세요. 위험해요. Okay? So remember, back off. Back off. Back off. FYI, nail, the third wheel, have a bone to pick with. Back off. Today, we will read an article about Pearson, the world's largest education publisher. Let's start! The world's largest education publisher will gradually phase out printed textbooks. 세상에서 가장 큰 교육 출판사가 어, 점차적으로 그 프린트된 교과서들을 어, 단계적으로 중단할 것입니다. Pearson will make all its learning resources digital first. Pearson은 그, 그것의 모든 학술 자료들을 어, 디지털로 먼저 만들 것입니다. Pearson CEO said, we are now over the digital tipping point. Pearson의 CEO는 말하기를 우리가 현재 디지털 tipping point 위에 있다고 합니다. 여기서 tipping point라 함은 조금의 변화만 일어나도 갑자기 큰 변화를 일으킬 수 있는 단계를 이, 이야기합니다. He said over half of annual revenues come from digital sales. 그는 말했습니다. 그 연간 수익, revenue 하면 은 수익을 얘기하고요. 연간 수익의 그 절반 이상이 디지털 세일에서 온다고 했습니다. He added that as in industries like newspapers or music, it is time to flip the switch in how we primarily create products. 그는 그 더해서 말하기를 음, 신물이나 음악과 같은 그러한 산업에서는 어, 우리가 주로 제품을 그 창조하던 방법에 스위치를 바꿔야 한다. 스위치를 돌려야 할 때라고 이야기합니다. He is confident and excited about the future. 그는 굉장히 자신감 있고 또한 미래에 대해서 굉장히 흥분했습니다. A big advantage of e-books is they can be updated. 어, 큰 e-book의 큰 장점의 하나는 그들은 업데이트가 될수 있다는 겁니다. This means teachers can access the latest versions. 그 뜻은 그 교사들이 최근 버전에 어, 액세스할 수 있다는 뜻입니다. 최근 버전을 이용할 수 있다는 것입니다. Pearson will end its business model of revising printed course books every three years. Pearson은 어, 매 3년마다 그 교과서를 제, 새로 고쳐서 프린트하는 방식의 비즈니스를 끝낼 것입니다. This model has dominated the industry for 40 years. 이러한 방식 
그럼 이러한 방식은 어, 40년 동안 이 산업을 지배해 왔습니다. The CEO said e-books are a more effective way to learn. 그 CEO는 말하기를 말했습니다. 그 e-book은 더욱 더 효과적으로 배우는 방법이라고. He added that e-books appeal to the Spotify generation. 그는 더하기를 이북은 그 스파리파이 세대를 세대에게 어필한다고 합니다. 스파리 여기서 스파리파이라 하면 음, 그 약간 넷플릭스처럼 음악이나 팟캐스트 등을 스트리밍하는 서비스입니다. Textbook writers are worried that they will earn less as digital products are subscription based. 그 교과서 편찬자들은 걱정을 합니다. 그들이 돈을 덜 벌까봐 여기서 as는 뭐뭐함에 따라서 라는 뜻인데 디지털 제품들은 그 구독을 기반으로 구독을 기초로 하기 때문에 어, 그들이 돈을 적게 벌까 걱정한다고 합니다. Okay guys, bye bye! I have very good news. Finally, I bought my tripod. Now we have three more days to go and we'll be done with these expressions. So let's just study really hard and I'll when I see you tomorrow again. Bye bye! Oh, if you like my video, please subscribe me and push the like button. Bye!